Hi everybody, it's September 16th, 2011. Mike and Maggie here. Gonna post uh, some interesting links. Uh, Kurashio. It means black tide in Japanese. And there is what's called the Kurashio current, which uh, kind of blends in with the California current off our coast. And I'll post a link in Wikipedia, and it's a pretty simple picture to look look at. And uh, I'll post another link, a little more detailed. Um, what I'm getting at is this big abalone kill off the Sonoma coast. There'll be a link posted to that too. Um, started around the end of August, August 27th, and uh, it's killed hundreds, if not thousands, of abalone. And they're claiming a red tide did it. Uh, red tide is uh, simply a plankton bloom, a certain type of plankton that has uh, toxins. Um, what usually happens, folks, that, that I know of is uh, the birds die usually from eating anchovies or sardines that have uh, fed on this plankton and concentrated the toxins in their flesh and you get a lot of cormorants and mirrors and seagulls and other birds uh, pelicans I read there was a big pelican die off down south so uh, something that doesn't add up to me about this abalone die off um, and uh, I'll post a Bloomberg article that was published I believe March 22nd reassuring everybody that this uh, radioactivity from Fukushima would be diluted by the currents and uh, made harmless. <laughs> so just something to think about. I'm not like, you know, saying that, you know, radioactivity killed the abalone and the other invertebrates, uh, starfish, um, chitons, and other, other animals have washed up, but it, it's kind of fishy to... Um, to me, I don't know how a, uh, you know, if they, if they claim that the uh, plankton sucked all the oxygen out of the water, that's, uh, to me, is a stretch. I just, I, I just having a hard time believing that. And so much is unknown about how the ocean currents, ocean currents can actually um, influence the weather, believe it or not. It's, uh, yeah, El Nino is an example of that. And you, you can research all this um, um, you know, from what I know and the tides coming in. But uh, just pointing something out, and it's kind of strange, and people will go, well, how come it didn't hit up in my part of the woods, neck of the woods up here? Uh, no dead abalone, but, you know, <clears throat> currents can form gyri. And those are like highly focused little eddies or areas where the currents kind of focus so that's one possibility that uh, that happened we don't know I don't know it's unprecedented I've been on this coast for 30 years biologists are scratching their heads and uh, they've actually closed the abalone season on the Sonoma coast because of this um, massive, massive die-off. And they're blaming a red tide. But uh, I've heard of no birds dying. No mass uh, die-off of birds. So that's got my uh, suspicions up. Something's up. And uh, so just read the links and stuff and tell me what you think. Um, I don't want to panic anybody, but, you know, um, it's a possibility. A great and big possibility. Um, not enough is known. I know they study currents quite a bit. Oceanography and marine biologists are quite interested in how currents affect, uh, you know, plankton and, and uh, zooplankton. And uh, it's important for fisheries is where the currents go that's where the larva the fish go and 
So, some interesting reading material for you. Just, uh, no conspiracy, but just, uh, use your own brain. And, uh, remember, radioactivity just doesn't, uh, disappear. I mean, one little particle can be hot for many, many years. This is true for cesium and strontium. Iodine tends to, uh, decay rather rapidly. But, uh, cesium, I believe, is 30 years, strontium's 90, and we just don't know, um, how an abalone would react to any kind of level of radioactivity. So, that's <coughs> my, my, uh, excuse me, <coughs> opinion on it, and she's rolling around in the seaweed there. But take a look at it. Another interesting thing that's happened this week was the bailout of the EU. And I'll post an article from September 13th, which more or less predicted this. And Bernanke went ahead and did it, I believe, yesterday. And of course, the markets rallied. Gold and silver took a tumble. Um, the Fed has opened up the window, so to speak, and is injecting uh, over $600 billion into their banking system over there at our we're going to pay the price for that I'm sure of course uh, what's interesting it had a lousy jobs report and uh, inflation was up and, but still the market more or less went up I don't know folks it's schizophrenic but uh, this abalone thing's really got me I've never seen anything like it and uh just do a little research on that, and I truly believe it's quite possible that that, uh, that black tide from Japan could have formed a gyrus right off the Sonoma coast there and concentrated a lot of bad stuff. But uh, you know, that's you know, I'm not a scientist, uh, but it's it's quite possible, and it's left other parts of the coast untouched for now. I mean, you don't know. We'll have to see. But uh, my suspicion is raised, like I said, because no birds were affected or have been affected. So I'll keep my eyes out for that one. Um, but anyway, hope everyone's having a good weekend. Till next time, read the good book. Strive to do what it says, and God bless. Bye-bye.